Today, we make fire. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning! All right, Mythical Beast, we need you to keep tweet voting so that we can win. Show of the year at the streamies. We can do this. All you yeah, gotta do to, yeah. is to tweet. I'm voting for hashtag Good Mythical Morning for show of the year at the hashtag streamies. Yes. A hundred times. You can do it a hundred times, times a day. day. Okay, thanks for that. Now, one of the, uh, the things that has separated us from the rest of the animal kingdom as humans is our ability Bipedalism. to harness fire. Like ostriches. You no, ever, harness fire. You ever seen a parakeet start a fire? I don't think so. I've never seen one start a fire. You ever seen a worm start a fire? No, you no. have not, because they no. can't do it. They're, no. they're lame, worms are lame. But uh, we can start fires, and humans have devised all kinds of interesting ways to start a fire and all kinds of interesting technologies. We've got lighters and torches and all kinds of stuff like that. But what if you're out in the wilderness and you- Without any of those technologies. Yeah, and you're just like an animal, just out there in the wilderness. How do you start a fire? Well, you gotta get weird with it. Let's get weird with it. Making fire. All right. All right, this is the remote campsite that we have set up in the parking lot. We each have our own tent. Mine's bigger than yours. Uh, unfortunately, we have not brought fire starter stuff, like a lighter. Like a lighter. What do you have in your in your pack? Oh, my camping pack. Maybe you got mm. something. I've got a piece of gum. I've got skizzers. Okay. And I have a double A battery. A double A battery. Okay, so I've been, can I chew the gum? Nope. I have to use the gum. I have to use all parts of this. Oh, you're like a true survivalist. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into an hourglass shape. And I am making the kindling here that hopefully will just go up in huge flame in a second. I think a fire might just start on my jeans out here just from being in the sun. It's basically 100 degrees out here, almost. Okay, so basically I've created just a thin part in, in this gum wrapper. Now I need the gum. I need right. the gum there, to be in two different one. pieces. You're gonna take this and put it on the non-shiny side. And this is gonna serve as like a heat Heat buffer. shield. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take our battery. You're gonna connect both ends of this to a battery in order to complete the circuit. Mm -hmm. But do it down here next to the... Yeah, I will. I'm just getting this into position here. Okay, right here you go. And... Ignition. Contact. Oh, it's burning immediately. Come on, fire, man. You got generic batteries. Come on. That's the problem. It's no longer smoking, but it smells like fire. It actually smells like gum. I think you're cooking the gum. I think that's all that's happening here. You want to just eat the gum? Oh, see oh it's it, warmed see. up. It's like a. It's somebody, oh, really? It's like gum that's been in somebody's pocket for a long time. That's not bad. Okay, so step one to survival is make sure you have warm gum. Mission accomplished. Okay, my gum and batteries were a little bit of a fail, but uh, Link, what do you have in your special pack? Well, Rhett, I've got uh, a battery from an Android cellular telephone. Oh, yeah. Hold that for Who me. doesn't have one <laughs> Right. And I've got uh, some steel wool here. Oh, yeah. And if you take the steel wool and scrape over the, uh, I'll call those diodes, I have no clue what they're actually called, okay. of, of a battery. And I'm gonna do that down here. Oh, I just saw a spark, but I'm not close enough to the... Are you just cleaning now? You're still trying to start a fire? <laughs> wow, we're gonna die out here, Link. We're gonna die of heat exposure, ironically. We're gonna die of a heat stroke while trying to start a fire. <laughs> you know what? I've got some other batteries we can clean. I brought a nine volt. Okay, let's try Should've that. Should've told you about this earlier. Try it with a nine volt. Here, hold, hold, hold this in your hand. Oh yeah, that's gonna work, man. That that leaf right there is about to catch on fire. You're shaking so much. Are you okay? Are you shaking from the cold, the extreme cold? <laughs> Come, on. Come on. I've always thought that we were gonna be a good team in the zombie apocalypse. I'm beginning to second guess that now. Okay, man, let's move on from batteries. What else do you have in your pack? Well, Link, you know, I'm glad you asked because I've got this pan where we just cooked that bacon back when we used to have fire. Oh. You know? And, so you've got a, um, and a, I've got a bacon grease soaked paper towel that I'm gonna set down there. Because bacon grease is flammable. You know what? Don't I've, let anybody tell you anything differently. And I've got my reading glasses for those romance novels that I like to read while camping. So uh, I'm gonna throw some kindling on top of the bacon grease. 
Now, we would be using my glasses, but they're not thick enough. We've determined that these reading glasses are thicker. Yeah, brother. I think this is gonna work. My excitement is building, my expectation, my sense of survival you is know, kicking up a notch. As a kid, I would do this with my brother, but I used a magnifying glass. You wouldn't happen to have- Oh, like you know a... what, speaking of that, I've got a magnifying glass. <laughs> well, here, let me use that. Hey, you need to turn it around. Oh, this is gonna do it, man. Man, that is bright. Now look, there's, there's smoke coming out from over here. Keep going. You know, we should have just kept that fire we were cooking that baking with. Right. We should have just kept it. And then use that fire to start a fire. Yeah, yeah, we should have kept that fire going. I think that's the lesson here. If you get fire for baking, don't quit. Yes. That's, yes. That's, oh, huh. It's happening. That's flame, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was fire. Oh, 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 it, oh there it is. Wait, 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 oh, oh. Fire! Fire! Me make fire! 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 Well, you know what? It only took a magnifying glass and a previously lit fire. Oh, gosh. Look at that, guys. Hey, that was so easy. <laughs> now what do we do? Why don't we put out this fire and try to start another? Okay. Okay, well, we've already effortlessly started fire, so that we have nothing to prove at this point. But uh, what else you got in your bag, Link? Well, on the heels of that victory, I have some plastic cups. Oh, cool. Some rubber bands. Yep. And some cling wrap. Uh huh. Now, if my research serves me correct, we take said plastic cup, fill it with human urine. Oh. And then take the human urine and make a baggie using cling wrap. Oh, fun. With and then use that as a magnifying glass. But well, I've got some urine brewing. Oh no, I'm going first. <laughs> oh, go, we're both gonna go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, I'm going. Everything coming out all right? That's a joke I like to say when somebody's using the bathroom. I've done it for years. All right. <laughs> well, that see, was quick. See if you can top it off. <laughs> Can't have too much. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this empty cup and I'm gonna make a some sort of a template to then pour the pee into. Hey, Link. Man, we've been, <laughs> we've been drinking. <laughs> it's good to stay hydrated. It's well, I don't know, yellow. it's pretty yellow though. I, I think that was you, man. All right, okay. I just made a little hole. Yeah. I don't think that's how I would do it. Pour a little bit of our uh, combined urine sample. Couldn't this just be water? No, because you don't have water. We drank yeah. all the water and converted it into pee. Well, there's a hose right over there. All right, do not pour this on my hand. Pour a little bit. Just. I think I'm gonna throw up. Stick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I kind of wondered if it was gonna separate like oil and water, like your pee, like layered on top of my pee. I'm gonna set this over here next to the bacon grease pan. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Where's the rubber bands at? The rubber bands are right here. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're a pro. Look at that, you got a little pee bag there. Oh, oh no, no, a breach! <laughs> oh no, no! Just come sit down. I'm not gonna throw it on you. I've known you long enough to know that you're gonna pee, you're gonna pee me right now. Sit down, I'm not you're going to. You're about to pee me. Just let me hold it. All right, so, gosh. <sighs> wow, that's that's the most traumatic thing I've ever experienced on the show, and it, and it happened to you. You know what, don't worry. Oh gosh, be come okay. on, man. We're in this together. Get your pee hand off of me. Don't touch right. me again. So here we go. See if you can get a beam of light directly on the kindling without dripping pee on the kindling. The sun is right there. I don't, I don't wanna try to get it sideways. There's just so many crinkles. We need something that's smoother than this, like more saran wrap. What about a Ziploc bag? Oh! <laughs> All right, so I've got a... Thanks for letting me know you had a Ziploc bag. So, here, put that, put that in here. Icky. Icky? Yeah. All right, so now, pour the pee in there. Pour half of my pee and half of your pee in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, man, full. What? Yes, I'm trying to make a bean, man. Now, should we label this? I'm never, so peeing. I'm never peeing again. After seeing my pee out in the open like this. All right. Have at it. Steady hand. This kind is too big. The beam is too big. This is what our life has become. We're sitting out in a parking lot with a bag of our own urine holding it up like this, trying to start a fire. All right, Rhett. 
what other goodies do you got? Uh, well, I've got an empty plastic soda bottle. Okay. Uh, I've got some brake fluid. Of course you do. I always bring that camping. Right. You might need to brake. I've got some uh, pool cleaner, chlorine. You know, you never know when you're gonna find like a hot tub out in the wild that like you want to disinfect. Like hike to a pool or something. Yep. I've also got some rubber gloves that we're gonna need. Oh. I've got uh, a mask for your face. Oh, wow. I'll take those. Okay. And uh, I've also got, is that it? Yeah, that's you it. You better hope you have goggles. Oh, goggles. Yeah, where are they? I want to reiterate, do not try this at home. Um, we're not at home, so. We're camping. We're camping. Don't try this camping, unless this turns out really great which I'm sure it won't, because we're getting all protected. I'm wearing, I'm wearing one glove. Okay. I've never put this kind of I stuff on while gloves. camping. Yeah, this is how I look when I'm camping at all times. <laughs> all right, so what do you do here? Well, first thing I do is I get my mask on. Then, I take our chlorine. We didn't find any hot tubs on this trip, so we can use it to start our fire. I'm going to fill this up. You done this before? Nope. I've just been on the internet. Okay, that's good. Okay, pour the brake fluid. Now, if we have any braking problems on the way down the hill, we're screwed. We're out of luck. All right, nothing happening yet. Little bubble action over here. Now, I've been instructed that we might want to stand back a little bit. Whoa! Look, look, look! Oh! What? Oh, gosh! What? What the crap? What? What the crap, guys? Is everybody all right? I'm a little afraid. Stay back, stay back. You know what? I'm glad I already peed in that cup because I would have just peed in my pants and yours. It made a couple of, it had a couple oh, 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 we, my freaking chair's okay. on fire! Right, the chair's on fire. Hey, hey, you, you should, you should, yeah, there you go. That's exactly what you should do. Yeah, Edward! Get it! Hit that, too. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down in my perfectly uh, intact chair. Uh, and think about what just happened. Do not try that anywhere, ever. That was stupid. I'm gonna go ahead and acknowledge that that was, that was, wow. That was stupid on a lot of levels. But that's why we're doing this and you're not. Whoa. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, <sighs> I'm in one piece. Are Nothing you? has burned, uh, rather miraculously. That was stupid. Yes, L yeah, let us acknowledge. We, we've been telling you the whole time to don't attempt these things at home, but let me say. We had not pre-attempted them, and then when we attempted them, we over-attempted the last one. We got we put too much of whatever those materials were, the brake fluid and the uh, the chlorine, too much. Don't, don't do it at, at all. all. But especially the way we did it was incredibly stupid and irresponsible, and we're lucky to not be burned. And so we won't uh, interpret it as a reward, but we still want to invite you to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, why not? You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Anna, and I am from Orange, California. Today we are at VidCon, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We got a special edition, limited time, the hoverboard t-shirt, only available up through October 21st, 2015, the date on the shirt. Check it out at redlink.com slash store. Click through to Good Mythical More, where we share some camping mishaps from our high school days. My strange addiction, mashed potatoes. Hi, I'm here with one Link Neil. Link, uh, here you've got a problem. Tell us about uh, it. No, I don't have a problem, I mean. What are you eating there? Uh, what is that? I mean, just some mashed potatoes. Mashed some, potatoes. How, meat, there's meatloaf Can there you too, believe though. it? How how much do you like those mashed potatoes? Looks like you're really into them. I mean, they're they're good. They're creamy. I mean, it's just he uh, thinks they're creamy. They're how good. often do you eat mashed potatoes, Link Neil? Um, once every quarter, probably. Once a quarter. That's four times a year. How strange is that? There's probably a chemistry class that is going to watch the video that we made today as like an example of how not to behave in a chem chemistry lab. We were wearing goggles though.